what's new what's missing in the official build of miui 13 based on android 12 running on the xiaomi poco f3 or the xiaomi mi 11x hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and you finally have an official build of miui 13 available for the poco f3 now this is based on android 12 and the security patch is from january 2022 do note that the poco f3 is sold as the xiaomi mi 11x in india the only difference is that the poco f3 has the very famous poco launcher with its broken animations which are still broken in miui 13 based on android 12. that thing out of the way of course as i mentioned earlier the first change you will notice is that the security patch is from january 2022 and you do get the new miui 13 logo as well then if you go into additional settings and here and if you go into one-handed mode you will notice that the ui here is a bit different why because this one-handed mode on me ui 13 based on android 12 is google's implementation of one-handed mode and of course the gesture is not perfect but you have to swipe down on this pill there it is now it works on me ui 12.5 you have xiaomi's implementation of one-handed mode which is why the ui is a bit different on me ui 12.5 next up we can go back into settings and now we can go into another option called special features here and you will notice that you have something called sidebar now this sidebar is something which is known as your video toolbox and they have combined game turbo in the same thing you can always set it to always show and you can also change the position as to wherein it is shown do you want it on the left of the screen or do you want it on the right of the screen you can choose your games you can choose your video apps and bam here it is this is how it is going to look like if you tap on any application it is going to open in a floating window and that is all about the sidebar which they have added with me ui 13. next up if you want to have a look at your accessibility options so we can go into settings go into additional settings look for accessibility here and if you enable the accessibility shortcut there it is this here is the shortcut which we are talking about now if you go back go into accessibility button you can now choose the transparency of this floating button which you had and again this is a new feature which has been added with me ui 13 next up we can open the gallery and once you're in the gallery application open any picture tap on the three dot menu on the bottom right you will see a new option called protective watermark so what is this here and you can add in whatever mark you want to add and let us say i add do munchy and then tap on the check mark and then tap on the check mark on the top right here it is you can see that this image now has the watermark which we just added now this feature was supposed to be added to the camera application as well because in miui 13 if you open the camera application go into more go into documents on china builds you have the option of enabling or disabling this protective watermark when you take your picture however that is not the case with this specific build of miui 13 something different which i did notice is that let us say you are in video mode and you are recording a video you see this indicator on the top if i select this tap on this it is telling me that my camera and microphone are being used by the camera application so this is your privacy indicators for camera and microphone access which google did add with android 12. now on stock android you can customize that enable and disable the toggles whether you want to see that feature or not but you do not have any such option with miui 13 if i go ahead and try to edit it you can see i do not have the quick setting tiles to enable or disable those options so that is something which is missing now while we are in your control center you will notice that this is not the control center from miui 13 this is the old miui 12.5 style control center if you go into screen recorder and go into the settings you will have two new toggles the first here is to show your touch gestures and the second one is to show your button taps now unfortunately they still have not added the option for recording your internal audio and microphone at the same time something which the gamers out there would have definitely appreciated 
Next up with respect to your game turbo you still get the old style of game turbo so here it is let me open the me remote application and I should have my game turbo activated there it is you can see you still have the old style of game turbo now those of you who want the new one we do have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video other than that if you go into your settings option and then you go into battery you will notice you do have the new option of your battery saver profiles so you can either save the battery or you can use balanced or you can use performance mode go into battery you do not get any other miui 13 china features next up with respect to your memory extension that feature is still present in settings and additional settings you can go into memory extension bam here it is right now it is enabled it is using 2 gb of my internal storage for the extended ram now on miui 13 china builds it will tell you over here that you have 6 gb plus 8 gb of ram that is not the case with your global builds next up we can have a look at what is missing so of course this here is the very famous poco launcher broken animations are still there been three years they haven't been able to fix it you also have the issue of wherein this gesture bar at the bottom has a white background lord knows when the hell on earth are they going to fix that now again since this is poco launcher you do not get access to the app vault which means the widgets which are present over here are still the old widgets which do look pretty ugly as compared to the me ui 13 cool looking widgets control center we already told you you have the old one but in case you want the new one we do have a video for that which can be found in the description of this video then if you go into settings and display you do have all the other options but if you go into your option for text size and you're wondering where the hell is me sans font that feature my dear friends is also missing then if you try to change the wallpaper you do have the new miui 13 static wallpapers but the molten glass wallpapers again are missing and how do you add them video is in the description of this video with respect to your removable applications now they do have the option in settings go into apps here it is uninstall system apps but if you try to uninstall any of the application which they say was supposed to be uninstallable you do not get any of such option as you can see we did not have the option for the weather application and similarly for the file manager also we have no such option now with respect to your power menu bam here it is the old power menu from miui 12.5 and this is how your volume panel is going to look like then with respect to your benchmark scores now how do we run our benchmarks we run our benchmarks at 120 hertz refresh rate we do a run of geekbench followed by four back-to-back -back runs of n22 and then a run of your pu throttle taste why do we do this we do this because that is going to put enough stress on the cpu on the phone itself to check out the performance now geekbench scores are good decent single core score is pretty good no doubt but it is not as good as our MIUI 12.5.2. Then with respect to your N22 scores, we were in the 69s and then we dropped to the 68s. Again, the scores are good, decent enough and the same applies for your temperature increase during our N22 test and the battery used as well. However, when we did the CPU throttle, Taste. that is where the max cpu clock was 2.45 as opposed to 3.18 which is something which we have seen in miui 12.5.4 5.5 we did have a similar issue in miui 12.5.3 wherein the cpu max clock was 2.45 and in my humble opinion I think the device throttled and there is some room for improvement when it comes to your CPU throttle test and your benchmarks. Again, do note, this is the first build of MIUI 13, so I am giving them the benefit of doubt, but come the second build, if it is still the same, well, then I will have to call them out. So what is the final take on this MIUI 13 based on Android 12 build for your POCO F3 or the Mi 11X? There are some new features but the major features which they had promised like uninstallable apps, your benchmark scores doing good with their liquid storage or whatever, 
I do not see any such major change and if you tell me hey Manji, this is just MIUI 12.5 with some features added on top you my dear friend just nailed it and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when I see you